All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and I'm gonna tell you that it sucks to be famous. And I'm not saying that I'm famous in any way, shape, or form, but we're talking about when famous people crash cars, and of course, we're talking about the golden jet, Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart, uh, obviously, it's been in the news cycles that his car was involved in a rollover accident on Mulholland Drive over in California. It's in Malibu, it's in the canyons. And since they can't, outlaw a road which seems to have a lot of crashes on it because it's a recreational road they have to then find somebody else to blame the problem with celebrity accidents is that there always has to be somebody to blame there always has to be something that comes out of it not that any other crash happens on Mulholland but this now the 70 Cuda that crashed with Kevin Hart in it we need to legislate it we have to sue people we have to sue everything everything has to change and that shouldn't be the case. It's just the standard overreaction because someone famous got hurt and almost died uh, in a car accident. Now, even Kevin Hart allegedly, and I, I don't know that I haven't seen any of the filings, but there were three people in the car. There was a girl who I don't know who it was, um, a guy who was allegedly driving, and then Kevin Hart was in the passenger seat. Um, and then Kevin fled the scene because somebody came and picked him up and brought him home and he went from home to the hospital. Smells a little fishy to me, but as a celebrity, I don't really get into it because nobody wants to end up on TMZ crashing their car that they just got. Uh, it was apparently his birthday or something. He, he got himself a car, a real nice car. Now, you have to realize what this overreaction does. Now, I'll break it down a little bit. So the state of California is, is taking the, par the car apart piece by piece to see what legislation they could pass because California loves to legislate everything. That's nonsense. So you're gonna come up with the conclusion that, well, if he had a 12-point roll cage in the car and harnesses, probably would have been okay. Well, you know what? If he didn't roll the car over the cliff, you know, sometimes the golden jet, you're a little too old to do the flip, if you know what I mean. Just, uh, you know, that's, that's central. It's a movie reference, ignore me. Um, but at the end of the day, the, the car, you're, you're not saying the modified Hemi Cuda is dangerous. You're saying any old car that, that is in the same situation. If you take a stock 70 Cuda and, and roll it off a cliff, you're gonna have the same damage. It it's, doesn't matter how much horsepower is in it or what's been done to it. If anything, that car was in a better position to handle and brake and stop to prevent that accident. So it it's in better shape. So now by legislating, you're just gonna throw a huge monkey wrench. You're not, you can't shift the liability to somebody. Now, anytime somebody modifies an old car, if old cars aren't deemed illegal at that point in time for being dangerous, anytime somebody modifies an old car, they have to spend another $20,000 for, uh, well, whatever, say 10,000. I mean, when you get into these companies, retail 10 or $20,000 for a roll cage and safety equipment, nobody's gonna do it. Nobody's gonna wanna do it. And somebody, everyone's gonna register them out of state. It's just such a waste of everybody's time to do that. But now you're talking about the lawsuits slinging around, like the passenger suing, the driver suing, uh, or the, the guy who was allegedly driving is suing. Now all of a sudden they're talking, Kevin Hart's gonna sue the company that made it. Now, I can't imagine Kevin, let's just focus on the Kevin Hart thing, because at the end of the day, this is why it sucks to be famous, because you don't really have friends. You know what, you have friends that they get free stuff, they're hanging out with you, but then something happens and now they're, they're, they're going after your money. Oh, well, Kevin Hart, you should have uh, you should have known to put a roll cage in this car. You should have known. Uh, I, I, even the woman in the back didn't even get hurt. Probably emotional distress or something. That's why it sucks to be famous, because you can't do anything to somebody or somebody can't be in anywhere near you when something bad happens because they're going to sue you because you have the money. So this is where I think Kevin Hart is suing the manufacturer or the guy who built the car, not because he feels like they did anything wrong, but maybe because he has to. And why would Kevin Hart have to sue somebody? Well, if it's essentially it gets a little convoluted, but it comes down to insurance. Now, somebody's looking for somebody to blame to pay out. Like somebody want, everybody wants money now. There's an accident on the news. Everybody's outraged. Everybody wants to get paid now. Kevin Hart's not going to be doing it for the money. He doesn't care about the money, but he does care about protecting his money. And also, he may have a writer. He was shooting a bunch of movies. He may have something in his, whatever his personal insurance policy is, that if he does something negligent, 
that he now causes financial impact to all his, his world, his network of, of movies that he's in, they may come after his insurance for that. So now he, he has to either shift the burden. There, there, it may be a forced lawsuit. I don't think he's suing to put money in his pocket because genuinely I don't think it, it moves the needle, whether he gets $2 million or $5 million or whatever the policy limits would be for, uh, for a tuning shop. But also, I don't think the tuning shop's negligent. I don't think there's any responsibility. A tuning shop is going to do what you ask them to do. Was the work done? Did the engine work? Did the brakes work? Did the suspension work? Yes, yes, yes. It's not their job to put in safety equipment you didn't ask for. It's not their job to tell you what is safe or what is unsafe. And, and that's where that negligence, I, I'd see that as a completely frivolous lawsuit suing the guy who built it. And it's, that's a very, very dangerous precedent. Now you're suing... Uh, Lamborghini because you crashed a Lamborghini. You're suing Porsche because you crashed your Porsche. Well, you didn't tell me it's potentially dangerous to have a 700 horsepower Lamborghini. Well, you know what? You're licensed. You bought the car. It's on you, not on them. So the safety equipment thing is, I think, a frivolous lawsuit. I think that Kevin Hart has to sue just for nothing more than establishing that uh, maybe his insurance won't pick it up unless there is a denial of liability on a third party. So where, where, there, where there's now a juggling of like who's responsible, once he may be suing knowing that he will lose that suit so that his insurance then steps in and picks up the, the damages that are being levied upon him from his friends that were out for a ride with Kevin Hart and hanging out. And that's why it sucks to be rich. And it sucks to be famous because everybody's always going after your money. And I hope I never have to find that out because I don't want to be incredibly wealthy and I don't want to be famous because then you become a target. Now everybody's looking at you as a bunch of dollar signs walking next to them. What can you do for them? What can you do? And uh, that sort of sucks. And everybody wants to be a celebrity because it looks so sexy, but then something like this happens and the entire world gets tossed up and down all for a car accident. That is the reason I believe Kevin Hart is filing suit, if he is. Again, I, I have no filings in my hand. I feel like everybody is entitled through his insurance policy to get um, their medical bills covered. It's part of insurance. It's why you have insurance. But the lawsuits are all frivolous. Uh, it sucks. The state of California going after modified cars. At what point in time is a car modified then? So if, if you now take any car and modify it, does every car now need a roll cage? Does every car need a harness? At, at what point in time are you gonna legislate to prevent people from getting hurt in car accidents? I don't think it's possible. So that's my thoughts on that matter. Rob Ferretti, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. For those of you not familiar with my other company, I started a company called Adventure Drives, which combines driving and bucket list travel. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested, prices can be done per person. It's don't worry. If you don't have somebody to go with you, we can match you up with somebody. You can check the link in the description for adventuredrives.com and sign up today.